Okay, here we are. We've just come out of our uh, our little booth there. We're gonna try to walk to the pit area. I hope you give me enough leash and you're not gonna fall down the stairs. So we're on the middle level of the uh, the rostrum here. We'll take you down and show you the uh, technical area. Excuse me. This is technical inspection here. They have to uh, go through many different type of technical inspections. We're going to just take a wander down this way, try to find some people to talk to. I mean, to be fair, we've not really set this up right, because I've not checked to see if anyone's here. We are in the lunch break, so they might have run off, but uh, I think there's a couple of people down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go talk to Mongo Madne Magnus. So here we are, Magnus Nilsson. Hello. Hello. How was your first run? Uh, pretty bad. The engine overheated. Overheated? Has that happened yet? Yes. Yes. It went slower and slower. Good. It's too lean on the idling. So you're going to fix it for the next run? Yes, it's fixed. And it's going to be fast? You're going to be really fast? Very fast. You're going to beat Sebastian? Yes. You should have heard what he said about it yesterday. He <laughs> said he's going to do you. He said easily. Yeah, I did. Magnus Nilsson, owner of Action Wear in Sweden. Let's have a talk with this gentleman. How was your run? I'm uh, pleased with my first run. So, how was the car? You making any changes? Yeah, I uh, make it stiffer yesterday, but it uh, doesn't, didn't work for me. So, I make it a little softer in the rear today, and it fits me better. But is the the track conditions going to change later? I think so. It's changing all over the day so i don't know if it's will hold the whole day so i just keep looking have, have a look at his shirt <laughs> i know i'm old but jesus so an anyways do you think you're going to make the right changes at the right time is the the, the question no i don't <laughs> <laughs> probably not no so all right well good luck thank you good luck later today let's go bug sebastian mancia over this way oh we can speak to mr Fallman. how was your run not so good. We have some oh, uh, sorry, why? Yeah, we have some problems with the car. It's really good in the beginning, but then it's just dropping. So, do you have an idea on how to fix it? Not really, but uh, that's why we're here. Well, you got to appreciate the honesty. And your dad's over here working hard, is he? Yeah, but uh, it's normally myself doing uh, most of the work. Yeah, it's nice to have five minutes off and get dad to do some stuff. Well, good luck. I hope you figure it out for later. Thank you. Right, Patrick Foreman there, Danish driver. We're going to go over here and bug Sebastian. He doesn't even know we're coming. Well, he might know. So we'll slip in here. Hello. How was your run? Wait, no, I know how your run was. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I was okay. We are trying to find the right setup, so. Uh... It looked really good in the beginning, and then you had a couple of mistakes, and then just sort of, what, did no no point? or? No, it was, uh, I have some um, turns, and, um, and the setup was good, but when the heat, when the, um, Tires are overheating in front. Uh, it begins to feel strange. So, so you're gonna get it fixed for later? We are getting fixed. So uh, now next run, new tires and the uh, dragon. Well, I'm just gonna show you, Dad. Is is he camera shy? Here's his car. So are you used? Is this how you're gonna run it next time? Yes. Scrubbed tires on the rear, brand new on the front. So you put extra grooves on the tires. Yeah. There you go. If you could look closely here, just these little ones here. So those are extra grooves that he's cut in, saying to try to get the dirt that's on the track to fly out of the tire to keep the grip consistent. Yeah. Good luck with your next run. Thank you. Right, we're just going to have a quick look down this way. I don't know too many other drivers that are down here. Obviously, I've wandered around the pits, but you can see it goes on for a fair ways down there. Have a look over this way. This is what's behind us. That's how close the other side of the mountain is to us. We're going to have a wander down here. The Samba guys are expecting me. No, I'm not going to walk backwards. It would be pretty bad if I tripped and fall, so you're going to have to look at, look at the back of my head, I'm afraid. I was trying to get Soren Bang to come on, and I, I said, look, wait here for me. And when I came back, he ran off. <laughs> Let's just have a quick word with Ian. 
How's it all going for you in here, Ian? Pardon? How's it going for you in here? Very good. Very busy, very hot. Um, but that's, that's how it goes, isn't it? Did you have to fail anyone for technical? We're not in the failing stages yet. We're marking engines and things. Later on is when we do more technical things and check fuel tanks and fuel and bits and pieces. So. Okay. Well, thanks for effort at having us here. Oh, no problem. It's a pleasure. And uh, we'll come see you a bit later. I'm sure you will. All right. Ian Audi, he's the one-fifth EFRA representative. Now, I've got one or two more people set up down here that were going to talk to me, if they're still here or not. Oh, yeah, I see one of them's there. Soren's not, though. I told him I was going to talk to him, and he, he ran off, so let's just come over and surprise him. He's not camera shy. So I was talking to him about his run, and he had a little bit of a problem. Just to let you know what goes on out there, what was the problem you had? Uh, the issue was an, a little stone in the ignition, in the flywheel, and the, the ignition was off. So basically, they, these have a pull start, and a little stone went inside of the pull starter and stalled the engine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, bit, uh, a bit uh, uh, bad luck, yeah. And it gives the appearance of a, of a seized engine, so completely locked up. And you took it to your engine builder, who yeah. stripped it all down. Yeah, I have an uh, engine uh, mechanic who makes the uh, Utz engine. And uh, Torsten was uh, very nice to me and uh, fixing my engine. And they uh, make me calm. That's a, that's a big part of it, being calm and having faith in your equipment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you're not reliable on your equipment, uh, you cannot drive it fast. Exactly. So you're going to go out there and go really fast? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I'll give it a go. This guy, I tell you, this guy is always smiling in the pits, aren't you? <laughs> trying to. Trying to. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, thank you, David. See you. Bye. All right, we've already spoken to Patrick Fullman, who's here. I'm sure I could go down and cram the microphone, just get a pan of what we're walking past, the, the pit area, and you'll just see how much there is going on. Well, let me get on this side of you. Keep on walking. Well, easier for me to say. I'm not holding the camera. It just goes on and on and on, this pit area. A uh, couple of British drivers. Let's go down there and bug them. I know that because I'm going to just come and cram the microphone in because I know they speak English. Hello, gentlemen. And I'm Dave. What's your name? Craig Ullman. Paul. Oh, or Bean. 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 Are you the dad? Yeah. We followed you for a bit. Someone out there requested you. Really? Who was that? My mom. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Oops. Sorry. I took someone's seat. Sorry about that. Let me go on the other side of them. Sorry. I'll come over here. Pass the microphone this way. Yeah, I don't know, but we were following your run. You had a pretty good run, didn't you? It was fairly safe, really. I was just taking my time until the end when I curved it and went on the grass. But I managed to get off the grass without being marshaled, so it's a start for the weekend. Okay, good start for him. And uh, do you have uh, some changes you're making to the car? How are you dealing with the high uh, grip levels? Yeah, we've sort of changed the, the, the camber on the front a, a little. And I've changed tyres on the rear for the next run. I've gone softer. Um, we'll see how that goes. So a softer tyre compound? Yes, on the rear. Even though the grip's getting higher? Yes. But thoughts behind that, or is it a secret? No, it's not a secret. Um, I just feel that the, the X3 is a bit too hard for the back still. Um, so I'm going down. People are using the ones, X1, so I've gone to a two, so I've gone in between. So could it be anything that if you have a little bit more uh, grip on the rear, it's going to make the front a bit easier? That'd be nice also, because the, the front is the, the problem at the moment. Um, the two big sweepers at the end, it's a bit... Uh, delicate in there should we say um, infield it's fine I'm happy with how much tips uh, steering I've got in the infield but the two sweepers it's very uh, take your time and what sort of result would you be happy with Four, a win obviously <laughs> see that you're here to win I like Everyone's it one's here to win aren't they um, the goal at the moment is to make Saturday and not do any finals on Friday well that's a that's a good uh a good goal so is it all right if we come back and bug you at some time or maybe what we're going to try to do is get you after you come down off your run just stop on the middle level have a chat yeah we can do that yeah good. perfect thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us that's yeah, nice that nice english speaking guy makes it easy for me yes i know i'm lazy and i don't learn learn another language but anyways we're going to the samba 
hospitality. This is where we've been invited over for non-stop pina coladas. Join me on the sofa. Here we are in the uh, the Samba hospitality area. Just tell us what, what is Samba and what do they do? Samba is a manufacturer of uh, model car pipes, but we also do uh, for other uh, racing categories, but mainly we are here for the model car racing already for, I think, 15 years on the track. And we enjoy to be here and uh, provide the, the, the best pipes available. So you mean you do like full size car pipes as well or other or other model cars? Yeah, no, full size cars, uh, just old timers, mainly motorbikes and go-karts. That's the uh, thing. So where are you guys based out of? We are based in Holland. It's a Dutch company. We have a workshop in Holland and we have a workshop in Hungary as well. So we just try to allocate the work depending on the demand. And the flexibility, of course, uh, we have to be flexible, but luckily we are very happy with the order, so we uh, need to uh, do the logistics quite okay. Well, you must be doing something right. Just get a pan of their logo, and he's saying they do you know, model cars, but also they do motorbikes and uh, go-karts, and I'm sure they'd build you a, a custom pipe for anything that you wanted. He's been very kind. He contacted me the other week and said, come on down and see us in our pit area, so here we are. Okay. It's very nice to see you here and very nice to see you guys from RCTV because uh, the main reason we build this uh, tent because we think uh, this category, our racing category, or this one also deserves uh, attention from not only from the model car guys but also all around the world with your help because I think you have a lot of viewers now and during this uh, next three days so we are happy to do that. We, of course, also want to get uh, uh, our customers uh, feel happy and sometimes sit down and invite them and uh, just discuss a couple of things, drink a beer or something like that. Well, I think you're going about the right way of doing it. You're, you're coming along and supporting the meetings. You're giving them the service and providing top quality products. So congratulations on that one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we'll come by later and try those pina coladas if that's all right. Yes, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Obviously after racing because, you know, drinking and, and working doesn't work. Maybe next Monday we can do that. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Right. Well, we're just going to uh, we're going to sign off here. But here's another view of the track. If you can see, we're up in that building down there. And then if you just pan to the track and pan to the left where all the other all these other tents and gazebos and everybody is. We want to try to give as much people, you know, camera time as possible. So we're going to go have our lunch now because it's lunchtime and we'll see you back online in a little bit. Thank you.